Welcome back. I'm GTF. Unrepresented. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. It's Bob yet. And we are still in the Elder Mountains after doing some fetch questing and some wall crushing. Because we can do that now, and Doki is so, so very sad about it. Yes, he is. Although he doesn't show it. He hides it behind a smile. And, and he has no one to blame but himself for it. And that's what happens when you're a one-trick pony. God, I really do hate the giant bees. Eventually, it'll get easier to kill them. But for the moment, they are a pain in our ass, whooping out their offspring as they do. Yes. They're not, they're not even really dangerous. I don't even recall them being able to attack you themselves directly. It's just, you know, you kind of got to leap up there and you can barely ever hit them. That and they can take a fair bit of abuse still. Did we fall on purpose there? Or what? No, actually, I completely missed the jump. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. I was going to disclose that anyway. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see me falling down here a couple times, I think. It's a very tricky segment right there. That's really why you have to have the stone shoes. Yeah, remember, folks, um, as with all iPads, remember you are not getting a super play. No. <laughs> like that. Futile attempt to make that jump. It's a nice comet effect, though. Yeah. Things are very nicely animated in this game. Yeah, oh, yeah. Falcon yeah. pulled off, they, they pulled no stops. Damn it, we don't want to have to remake this particular entry of the series again. You know, I think I think given the chance, I think they would gladly do it again. They seem to really be proud of Wanderers for me, so that seems to be like their little precious gold mine. And I completely missed the jump again. <laughs> so is this basically the entirety of this uh, particular uh, section, just you falling down here? No. Oh. No. Huh? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's funny because your torture is amusing to us. Oh, that's why we make these games. That's why we play these videos. Yeah, I completely flip flop that. That's why we make these videos and play these games. <laughs> yeah, I walk in circles, obliviously, repeatedly, many, many times. GTF misses jobs. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, exile. Our, our is, you know, just directional, whereas GTF is more sort of height related. <laughs> I don't have good depth perception, okay? <laughs> well, it's not my fault you, you know, lost one of your eyes. Back in Nam. <laughs> I was drinking a Mai Tai and I forgot to take the little parasol out. <laughs> uh, wow. That's a shitload of all. No, I don't... is not kidding around about just tossing it at you. Well, I've already gotten, like, chests with 200, and I think I'm gonna get, like, a 500 later. Yeah, the 200s were at least hidden behind walls, though. That one was just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, but it's kind of an awkward one to notice, and I really do not want to fall down again. <laughs> I can still not... fall. I'm not in the clear yet. Which is not to say you won't fall down again, we just don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, I'm willing to just take the stingers to the face here rather than try to fight them. Yeah. And of course, the, the rock turret pops up right in a terrible spot, but now, now I'm in the clear. Excellent. In the clear, except, of course, for more goddamn giant bees and crap battle! Strike the weak point for massive damage. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, but you're still, that doesn't mean I'm done falling off of things. That makes it less consequential. Yes. <laughs> At this point, I'm starting to wonder if, you know, Adol is just kind of rubbing his ability to not take falling damage in our face. Maybe. Ah, look at all the high places I can jump off and not die. <laughs> well, I think the lava zone kind of much is a... As far as that's ever gonna get, he gets booted in the face off a, off a giant cliff into lava, and he just gets up and shrugs it off. 
Well, not only that, he manages to fall down a place so many times, he actually ends up back at the top again. And there we go. Now, uh, the bees are pretty much nothing to me now. And I missed a treasure. Gonna have to go back and get that treasure. Bully! And, but not before going for the Sonic the Hedgehog section. Yeah. Welcome to Elderm Ice Zone. What's it called? Ice Ridge Zone, maybe? No. That was it, that was it. Ah. Like that. Ice Cliff, perhaps? Whatever. More, more of all here. Notice I'm getting close Ice to like a thousand. I realize just to upgrade like the the uh, bandit equipment, it costs like a hundred Raval to upgrade once. So I realize like the net, and I still have two more levels of equipment to go. So the Raval is gonna get spent. Yeah, but it's not making you you know break your face for it like it did in the mission. Oh no, not even close. Although since we've been mention mentioning Sonic references, there's gonna be a relatively new enemy coming up. Not quite the, not quite blue hedgehogs, but same principle. Oh dear. Yeah, and you have to kill them with a, you have to wall crush them. Whoa, <laughs> they can apparently uh, give you some pretty significant knockback too. Oh yeah, that's really much all they do. <laughs> not a whole lot of actual damage. No, not really. Not at this point. I'm a little. Um, well, I don't want to say I'm over leveled, but you know, it's, I've I've hit that point in the game where that one level just makes you drop from taking like 20 damage a hit to five. Which is pretty much you know consistent throughout all these games. I mean, yeah, pretty it's, much. It's, it's one of those games where the rewards for grinding are usually pretty apparent, if not encouraged. The end. You have to make the drop down there to get it, to get that money. You can't just double jump up from here. It might have been hard to notice, but that was actually a new enemy. I thought it was just one of those uh, trolls from the outside that we just haven't seen in a while. Nope, it close. It, it's like related to them, according to the monster book. Um, I, I, uh, we swapped the colors. Nope, it's the same colors. They're just wearing skulls as as helmets. So okay, much. okay, we added a couple pixels. It's yeah. pretty much a powered up version of the same monster behavior. More or less, yeah. I think they actually can do like the little like... No, they actually have like a little wave slash move. They have a projectile from it. Kind of like what Adol gets when you're in a boost mode. Ah. And this guy's just out of reach. But not that it matters because we kill him anyway because we're just that awesome. That's where Adol fucking Kristen. That's what he does. Damn you! Yeah. Makes monsters explode. With a sword, somehow. 